Barrett is ready. Liz Culkin is two. Five seed against the two seed here in match number three from Orlando. Dave Ryan with you alongside Kelly Kulik and Carolyn Dorn Ballard. Is Lane level? Looks like she's sticking with the same ball she did in match number two, Dave. So that pin of aggressive symmetric bowling ball with a lot of surface. Opens up the lane right there and packs 10 straight back in the pit. Aaron, who is also a nurse at two different medical facilities, including one in their intensive care unit, has one career title, one in Louisville this year. High shot, only a six pin count. Now she goes back, works two 12 hour shifts and back at the US Open for the 56 game format. Bowling in the semifinal match, now shooting at the 3 6 9 10. Got a cover and cannot. And it's an open frame right off the bat for Aaron. That doesn't have anything outside other than appearances and giving lessons. Aaron needs a bounce back here, and she cannot find a pocket. Wow. One, two, eight, ten. Still driving force. Take out the back sleeper eight. Not easy. Can't do it. Ten pin stands. A disastrous start for Aaron McCarthy in this match. Yeah, Dave, as I said in the, in the break there, too, just... Just focus on the pins. Bowl your game, and that's exactly what she's doing. Hook, 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 hook. Got a hook. It doesn't. Yep. Two, ten, split. That was success for most women all week long. Hooking at it to slide the two pin over. Just misses the two, whips on that, leaves two pins, and now Aaron's double open to begin the match. Doesn't look quite so bad for Aaron McCarthy because it's only an eight pin difference. Yeah. You get comfortable. She really likes to open up the lane, and she can do so on the left lane, but the right lane still is tighter. Keep everything in front. Just right there, that's what she needs to do on the right lane. Still keep those open angles in the front and the left. But she also leaves a 3, 6, 9, 10, not one of the easiest pairs to make out here on tour. She has more recovery on the left lane, but the dead opposite on the right lane. Lots of cover here, and she can't do it either. Goodness. Aaron McCarthy on the bench figured after the two open she was in disastrous shape. Instead, she has a three pin lead because Liz Culkin just returned the favor. Now things really interesting. Right there, there's that tightness I was talking about. The angles are in front of her, not giving up much of the three pin. She finds her way on the right lane. Nice and controllable, and she's able to get her ball to actually roll forward as it's hitting the pocket. Left lane. Catches the switch. Back to back jacks for Aaron. Look at her scores 235 to 214, 246 to 172. Right now she's on a 2 0 pace. How will Liz bounce back after her struggles? Pretty well with a strike. Look at her scores, 235 to 214, 246 to 172. Right now, she's on a 2-0 pace. How will Liz bounce back after her struggles? Pretty well with a strike. You played the lanes a little differently than everyone during the night block. You were able to stay a little bit further right. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I, I just saw it kind of to the shape better to the right. That's kind of my A game and what I'm comfortable with. So that's what I stuck with and went from there. Well, great week, and good luck in your next event. Back to you, Dave. CDB, thanks. It was a great week for Danielle. Struggles tonight, but she's going to move forward with that, and not a 7-10. How about a strike instead for Liz Cole? Messenger head pin off the left side wall all the way across to crush and run over the 10-pin. 7-pin stands for Aaron. Just not enough. Hard plastic ball, cross lane straight at it for the spare conversion. I commented Erin McCarthy this year because of her style and her stature, she's so powerful for someone of her height. Which again, stronger equipment, tighter angles, better pin carry. It's really been advantageous for her. Finished third last year at the US Open after suffering 16 days of back spasms. Almost crossing over for a Brooklyn strike instead of 6-10 stand for Erin. And I'm going to highlight Clara Guerrero here in our booth tonight because she had the back spasms, took two weeks off, came back, makes the cut at Mechanicsburg, comes here, makes the top 24 at the U.S. Open, and she's back in the hunt for that elite field. Clara, scorekeeper tonight. Thanks to Clara. Doing a great job. 
Liz Culkin, 24 years old from Schenectady, New York. Match number three has herself a big lead. On Aaron McCarthy, while we were gone a moment ago, a huge strike. Kelly, it looked like it was going to be a 7-10 for a moment. Then a 7, then how about all 10? Yeah. Four pin not strong enough to push itself into the seven pin and run it over. Looks for a five bagger now. And covers all 10. And expands the lead one more time. And now after tripping out the 7-10 practically twice on the left lane, let's see if she can pack 10 straight. She's got the nickel. Five in a row. We're going to go up by 57 pins. A ring in 10. A nice run for Liz, who's in great shape to take on Stephanie Johnson in the championship match. Good job, she says herself, there's a 10 pin that even after the open frames to begin this match, Stephanie Johnson, our top seed, awaits the winner of this one. Yeah, I do, I like Liz's self-talk to herself too. Good shot, good job. It's just positive reinforcement, increasing your self-image, putting yourself up there, and telling yourself you are good at this. But Aaron McCarthy, as she comes back in the ninth frame to strike for 128, so back-to-back -back years, great run for Aaron to make the show at the U.S. Open. And great to see her healthy. As you said, Dave, eight and a half weeks she took off. She wins her first national title in Louisville. She makes her second U.S. Open appearance in a row and she's going to finish third in this event. And finish third place. I mean, yeah. she bowled very, very well. Yes, she did. See her healthy now is great. Aaron McCarthy, 188. And Liz Culkin will just need five pins on her first shot. Two eight ten one eighty six. That's great. He said twenty eight years old. Think about the women, the future of the sport in this tour itself. The PWA is going to be around for a long time. Next year's season is already announced. We have Liz Culkin in her twenties, and then Shannon and Stephanie in their thirties. So. Liz Culkin has wrapped up this match against Aaron McCarthy. And next up, the top seed, Stephanie Johnson. From here in Orlando, Florida, the city beautiful.